feeler gauges out in the middle. More precise now. I must say, medic. We should have everything. Day one, day so. Must say, medic. Yeah. We take the frustration out of restoration. Mustang Medic so update! Check it out, guys. Really? There's the last Mustang Medic shirt right there, laying on Nick's chest. Yeah! I gave it to Ross, and he said it'd be an honor, which is really cool that he feels that way about us, because of this baby right here. We're doing our meeting outside, just the four of us, Nick, Andre, and Carlos and myself, uh, because, um, because it's the four of us. Mr. Pizza Guy's visiting today. He's going to be looking at that baby over there glowing in the, in the light. She's about to head out because of that baby over there looking all gorgeous. And basically what we're doing is this. Nick, you need, you need to jump on Tommy's trans lines and get that finished so Tommy can start driving the car. Dre is going to do a little touch up on his metal cutting that he did on the, on the fender wells so they don't have, so rust doesn't occur on those cuts. And we'll be calling Tommy and he'll be picking her up. We're going to estimate the rear end a little bit later but we just got to get the, the car back into his hands. We shouldn't have an issue with rubbing since we did that cutting. Dre is going get, to get all the parts for Zoma's car, and we're basically going to just clean them up and collect them and make sure you got them. I should be leaving around. I should stay away, Carlos. Okay. So, um, I should be leaving around 11, and you're going to help me put the 72 up on the on the trailer, which is ready to receive her. But I got to do a little sanding. I, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna go DA sander on it and cut more of the bondo out. Carlos, you're attacking the 72, 72, 72, 72, and when we can get that done and and put a tarp over that car, because we need to set up that false wall, false wall thing. We got to get that false wall thing going. That's why I haven't painted um, uh, uh, Brian's, 66. Brian's 66 yet. It's all ready and ready to go. It's not corroding but I'm afraid to paint it because of that car sitting there up on jacks. So we got to get that false wall so we can undercoat that. That's a tomorrow project. So basically it's Tommy's, it's Zoma's, it's Matt's, it's Roz's, Ro Ross, Ross, I keep calling him Ross, I don't know why. And it's uh, Mr. Pizza Guy's car today. And we just, I got, excuse me guys, I just got to go over here because Nick just saw her for the first time. And all of us are looking at this car. And what's really neat about the GT is she's going to be in Dearborn, Michigan for that show in August that I'm, going to, I'm planning on flying out to. So not only will the car be there in Dearborn, Michigan, but I'll be there with her and enjoying the time with Bob, our client. And I don't see any reason why, without a catastrophe, which I don't predict, that this car won't be there in August in Dearborn, Michigan, in Bob's care and looking all gorgeous for the show. We'll be very proud to have her out there. A 69 GT convertible, matching uh, numbers, 351 Windsor, all gorgeous over here. All gorgeous, and the FMX Trans rebuilt by Dana Sniff going back in. So exciting times over here at Mustang Medic. This is probably the prettiest car that at this moment will roll out of Mustang Medic in our history. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been a quick Monday morning meeting. And because the whole crew isn't here, but we're going to keep uh, rocking. And the other guys, Steve and Joe, the other guys, Steve and Joe, are going to be here later this afternoon and doing, doing a full day and getting as much done as we possibly can on all of these gorgeous Mustangs. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. So you say it only has surface rust? Really? MustangMedic.com